Published, 1751 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018. Updated, 2118 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2018. Kate's was low and seemed to poke out of her Catherine Walker coat, while Zara seemed to be spread widthways across. Her middle, we're speaking, of course, about the baby bumps of the Duchess of Cambridge and Zara Tyndall, on glorious display at the Easter service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on Sunday. Indeed, no one had eyes for anything except the two bumps, each different in shape, but equally eye-catching, Zara's bump is spread out around her middle and hips, a telltale sign she is carrying a girl. Kate, on the other hand, has a bump which stick out like a netball, indicating it's a boy observers could not help but compare the two. But what is fascinating is what the shape of the bumps can signify. Can we tell the sex of a baby from this, and why is it some bumps barely show while others proclaim themselves so loudly? Here we take a look at some of the most prominent royal baby bumps over the years. A netball's a boy, a wide bumps a girl is Kate expecting a boy, it's said if a woman has a bump that sticks out in front like a netball, it's a boy, and Kate's bump fits the description to a T. This could be because boys are, on average, larger when they're born than girls, and therefore the bump may be slightly more pronounced. Shape on top can also be a predictor. Women carrying girls develop larger breasts. During pregnancy than women carrying boys, their bust increases by an average of 8 cm compared with 6.3 cm, as male fetuses require more energy from their mother, causing her to grow less. Sophie Wessex displayed the classic girl bump at 8 months pregnant with her daughter, left, and a rounder netball shape when 7 months pregnant with her son, right, there is another reason Kate might be more likely to be having a boy, because William has a brother. Corey Gelatly, a research scientist at Newcastle University, analyzed 927 family trees and found men with brothers are more likely to have sons, while men with sisters are more likely to have daughters. This pattern is found in men but not in women. Zara, on the other hand, is displaying all the telltale signs of a woman who is carrying a girl, according to perceived wisdom, if it's a girl, the way it is spread out around an expectant mother's middle and hips, and Zara's bump appears to be spread more widthways than poking out to the front. Pictured here on Sunday, Zara, who is believed to be around six months pregnant, has a similar bump to when she was carrying her daughter, Mia, in 2013. Below, this theory also works with Sophie Wessex who displayed the classic girl bump. At eight months pregnant with her daughter, Lady Louise, in October 2003, her bump full and wide across her waist and hips, seven months pregnant with James, Viscount Severn, in October 2007, Sophie's bump is the rounder, netball, shape. As is that show if it's number one, two or three Kate is due to give birth within the next few weeks and while you would expect her bump to be big, it does seem larger than the bumps of her previous pregnancies at the same stage. Research has shown that a woman's bump is considerably smaller for her first baby than subsequent pregnancies. That's because when a woman becomes pregnant, her levels of the female hormone progesterone increase. The Duchess of Cambridge while pregnant with George, left, and Charlotte, right, this causes bloating and may make the stomach swell before the womb itself has increased in size. In second and third pregnancies, this happens more quickly and the bump gets bigger. Kate's bump with Prince George, her first child, born in 2013, was smaller and neater. Also a swelling uterus causes abdominal muscles and ligaments to stretch, and though these constrict again after the birth, they will never regain their pre-pregnancy tautness. Kate's current bump does seem larger than the bumps of her previous pregnancies at the same stage when she was carrying Charlotte, the bump was slightly bigger, and her third bump is bigger still. This does not necessarily mean she is carrying a big baby, however, the bump of a 10 pounds baby can look smaller than that of a 6 pounds baby, depending on the shape of the mother's body, says Sarah Fox, policy advisor at the Royal College of Midwives, and what snapping back fast means there wasn't the pressure back in the 80s for new mothers to shrink back into shape as soon as they had given birth. Attending a service of commemoration at St. Paul's Cathedral for the Falklands War in July 1982, a month after giving birth to William, Diana is happy to show off a delightful post-baby tummy, even highlighting it with a belt cape, on the other hand, was back in her skinny fit jeans five weeks after giving birth to Prince George in July 2013, Kate was back in skinny fit jeans five weeks after giving birth to Prince George in 2013, left, whereas Diana showed off her post-baby tummy a month after giving birth to William in 1982, right, it was a similar story with Princess Charlotte, as Kate quickly regained her size 8 figure. Diana didn't start to work out until after Prince Harry was born, whereas Kate has always been sporty and continued to stay active throughout her pregnancy with George meaning that, post at birth, she was able to benefit from, muscle memory, whereby abdominal muscles respond more quickly to exercise. 
Like mother, like daughter, these pictures show that the bumps of Zara, right, and her mother Princess Anne, left, are surprisingly similar. These pictures show that the bumps of Zara, pregnant with daughter Mia in 2013, and her mother, Princess Anne, when she was carrying Zara in 1981, are surprisingly similar, and bump was wide like Zara's, and she, too, is in blooming good health. Just nine days before the birth on May 15th that year, experts say that this may be because mothers and daughters often have the same build and figure, meaning their bodies change in a similar way. Shape that can hint at how fit you are eight months pregnant with Princess Beatrice in July 1988, the Duchess of York is sporting a huge bump that has spread all around her middle, yet Beatrice was not a large baby, weighing 6 pounds 12 ounces at birth. Experts say a woman who is in good physical shape, with a toned, taut tummy, will have a neater bump. That's because the stomach muscles hold it in place. Fergie's constant up and down battle with her weight has been well documented over the years, and in her first pregnancy she was comfort eating, hence the large bump. In her first pregnancy Fergie was comfort eating, hence the large bump, left. But when she was pregnant with Eugenie in 1990 the Duchess made a concerted effort to look after herself, right, but to be fair to Fergie, a taller woman will carry her bump more easily, at 5 feet 6 inches, any non-bump related weight gain was going to be more noticeable on her. When she was pregnant with Eugenie in 1990, the Duchess made a concerted effort to look after herself and cut a relatively trim figure for most of the pregnancy. February of that year, a month before the birth, she was photographed with a neat bump, spreading widthways as girls are said to do, and looked in radiant health. Princess Eugenie was born on March 23, 1990, but Fergie was soon back on her diet and was rewarded in December of that year by being named the year's most inspirational female personality by Slimming magazine.